these books have been optioned since they were written. I've never trusted anyone to make the kind of commitment that was necessary to really recreate 1928, not just a general roaring 20s, but 1928, and allow me to meddle sufficiently in what is basically a work of my heart until I met Deb and Fiona and saw what they'd previously done. I instantly trusted them. They were willing to allow me to read the scripts and make suggestions and they, were, they came and showed me the auditions for the character of Phryne because she's the most important. These are dangerous questions. My favourite kind. I just saw her walk into a room and she's got the understated arrogance that Franny has to have. Franny is a female hero. She isn't a, an ordinary mortal. I really love Franny. I love the whole sets of characters. They are all very close to my heart. They're all my children. So I consequently was not going to let anyone near it unless I trusted them. Why do you think you can just run off on your own? Because I'm carrying a gun. <laughs> Franny! They called them the Roaring Twenties, but it was much more brittle. The Great War, they thought, was the war to end all wars, and it was really the end of that kind of unquestioning obedience to duty, because duty got you killed. They started letting women into the professions in the late Twenties. They did all these things that previously hadn't been allowed to do, and they found out, actually, they were very good at it. It was possible for Franny to be as bold as she is without being a social outcast. If she'd been like she is before the First World War, she would not have been socially acceptable. I don't know what my priest will think of you. Guns and knives and dancing. I want someone like James Bond, but much better dressed and with fewer product endorsements and a better taste in lovers. I want a female hero. It's almost exactly as I wrote it. It's a very peculiar feeling. The voices are correct. Nobody says, OK, nobody says, I'll check. There are no wrong words. The cabot is terribly important if you want to convey a historical message. The costumes are fantastic. The set is perfect. There is nothing in it that isn't 1928 or before. And it's not only accuracy, it's the it's the chemistry between the actors, the, the, the voltage of that unresolved relationship. It's fast, it's funny, and I just don't remember writing it that well. Oh.